how did you see that play change the game, and how are you guys able to build on that momentum? Um, the game, the game was a lot of spreads. We lost them right there in the first half, and we carried them in the second. You know, we, our game plan was to dig off the bigs and you know, trap a body with buzz and we guys to our game plan. And then for all of you guys, that the feeling as this continues to build and build when it gets up to 25 points, you guys seem to be really enjoying the moment. We talked yesterday about embracing it and not shying away from it. Why were you able to do that as we continue to build? I mean, just staying connected. Um, I mean, Michigan State is a great team. I mean, they're a number one team. So we knew that just because we got up by that much, it was, I mean, we had a whole other half to play. And, you know, we were uh, trying to. I would just stop as many runs as we could. Um, I, think the game, you know, I think the older guys did a great job of you know saying that in, in, in the locker room at halftime, and we, we were able to keep it down and get the dubs. It was clear right from the beginning that Michigan State was frustrated by the zone. Was that noticed in some scouting reports or something that you guys had done prior to tonight's game? I mean, um, we do, uh, you know, when. We play teams with such a uh, dominant big uh, like Nick and you know Jackson. Um, we we usually you know try to double and um, try to uh, make it as tough as possible, get the ball out their hands. So um, this isn't the first time we've done it, and it, it probably won't be the last. But you know, it was just a great, great scout, uh, great coach by Coach Holt, and you know uh, I think we limited their bigs to uh, Nick to one shot. So. That was, that was a key to our work. <coughs> I know you guys were aware before the year that expectations weren't super high for you guys. Um, I think some people consider it a rebuilding year. I'm not sure what, what you all consider it, but this certainly feels like it's going to change some things. Just, I, I guess, what, what does this change? How are people supposed to view you guys now that you were a forward on the Big Ten and just be from the one team? I mean, honestly, they can view us you know, the same way they, they have from the start. Um, uh, we're fine with that. We're going to continue to uh, prep the same way we've prepped all year. Um, we're going to continue to play the way we've been playing, and you know, try to get as many as many wins as possible. We're not really worried about what you know people are thinking, or you know, it, we're just focused on us getting better every day in practice, getting getting out there and playing as hard as we can for 40. I guess for for you, JT, though, and Kata, you guys have been here a few years, and. It's very likely there's going to be a number next to your name next week, and, and you're up top of the Big Ten standings. And just what's it feel like to have the program in a position to, to do some things that you guys have wanted to do in your career here? I mean, that's what we came here for, is to be on those teams that are always looked at as the top teams in the country. And we've had a down couple of years, obviously, but this is this is the start of what we, you know, not inside this locker room, inside this place that we wanted to get to by the end of the season. And that's just the start of it. Caleb, uh, I don't know if you played against Nick in, in high school, but to limit him to one shot, that was primarily your role. Just what went right for you on, on both ends and playing him at the post? I feel like it was good help for my teammates and just scouting. You know, we, uh, our defensive player was trying to get the ball out of his hands. Yeah. And I feel like we did that, but we executed that play. For Big Sean and for Kata, uh, at what point did you guys feel, was there like, obviously that run of 10 and a half, but what, at what point did you guys feel that this game would have your favorite, you thought it was, it was going to go your way. Yeah, so the Vader, obviously the number one team for a reason, so any point in time, you know, the, the Vader run. The last game against Iowa, we thought we relaxed early in the first or second half and came back on us. That's the number one team we did beat that. So we tried to put it out full 40. There was no point in the game. So like, you know, last 30 seconds, we were like, okay, we finally got this. What was Coach Holman like in a locker room post game? What, is, what does it do for for him, and what, what kind of reaction did he have from that? He's always emotional um, after um, after games, uh, especially wins. And you know, just the energy and to see that you know all the hard work the coaching staff and, and us put put in you know days prior to the game. Um, it's no better feeling when we get in and seeing what's our chair We get in this you know huddle and dance and. What was it called? I should, I should, I should, I should, I'm, that's what I'm <laughs> I should know that. Uh, I'll be here for you, nurse, but um, we, we have a chance, and, you know, we hug each other, but and, and he, he, he lets us celebrate for the night, and, you know, we get back to work tomorrow. We got a good Maryland team coming, coming uh, on Thursday, and, you know, we, 
we celebrate this one today, but we, we got more work to do. I mean, it's just the start of the Big Ten, so. Kate, for, or for all you guys, you, you just beat number one. Like, how do you feel? What's your, like, in your heart and in your soul? Like, how are you feeling right now? I beat a number one team, so <laughs> it feels good for me. I mean, we all, I mean, we all knew we could do it, you know, and that's where it started. You know, you can't go into a, a team like Michigan State not believing that you know it's possible to win. And um, I think that was the biggest, the biggest factor of us winning tonight is just the belief that we could do it, and we put in the work, and that we could play with the top level uh, teams in. So. What did Coach say all week to get you guys as fired up as you obviously were? It, wasn't, it really wasn't anything different than usual. I mean, it was, we tried to prepare for each team the same way. And there's obviously a little bit more as the number one team on our home court. And the media, you guys always ask us questions. Like when Coach Milano this first year, he beat the number one team. And it was like, oh, is it going to happen again? And it did happen again. So, I mean, little stuff like that. But for the most part, we just kind of kept things the same. Jason, we know, I mean, the, we know what the last couple of years have been like. The way you guys have been playing this win, is Ohio State basketball back? Is that what this is today? Mm. <laughs> I mean, shoot. <laughs> you guys can say we got a we got a long. I mean, it's a lot. It's a lot of games to go, man. And you know, I, I, I we we want to keep striving. You know, we we want to you know continue to go out there and, and continue to prove ourselves, and and, and and we'll just have to see at the end. Uh, what, what, what the, at the end of the tunnel there is. I mean, but, you know, we're just going to keep on trying to get as many wins as pos possible. And, you know, at the end, you guys will, we'll make you make, we'll let you make that judgment. Kato wants to say it, though. You want to say it? I'll say we're on the right track. I'll just say it. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully we're on the right track. We keep doing the same thing. How we're doing it, we'll you know, I've seen in the past, I've, I've jinxed this, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to say it. So. You, guys so, said, you guys said in the last 30 seconds, you're human beings. I mean, you've got to be giving yourself looks when things are going. When I see Dockett, you know, pounding the floor at the end of the half, well, just what's going? How are you guys dealing with it? You know, is it like this is unbelievable we, or what? If you've seen, uh, if you watched us last year, we've been in situations where we've been up 20, um, or and we've lost in the first, in the last, you know, more one, one minute. So um, it happened multiple times last year. So like. I think me, Kata, and the guys that were here last year just continue to, you know, have those flashbacks in our mind. We call it "don't fold," like don't, don't, don't fold like a launcher. And that's that's all we kept saying was we are not folding today. And um, and you know, we we got it done. So, Kata, for you, uh, other than being healthy, you look like a different player. What is it? The system is it? How much of it is you? How much of it is just attitude? It seems like sort of a, a new uh, a breeze is blowing through this program. Some things are gone, some people are gone, and it looks like you just won't help them. I, don't know, I think it's just a little bit of everything. I think the mindset is a big thing, though. Just, I was out for you know six, seven minutes. I couldn't play. So just sitting back and learning the game, re-watching the film, watching us play last year, and learning what to do and what not to do. And then the new coaching staff came in and made us all feel very comfortable in all of our rules. I think all of that just played a part in me and how I'm playing this year. So Doug kind of stole my thought. I wanted to ask you veteran guys, not that you have a if this feels program changing this time. Uh, like I mean, yeah, like I said, I think we're, if we keep doing what we're doing, you know, I think we're on the right track, obviously. Um, I'm not going to say we're there yet, obviously. We have um, 14, 15, 18 games left, but if we keep going like this, I think we'll be pretty good. And then Caleb, you know, obviously you're a local kid who jumped the chance to come here, your dad's home and all that, but I'm imagining there was some negativity around the program when you were considering it. There were probably people that told you you're never going to be Michigan State, things like that. Do you remember hearing that stuff? Or do you think I mean, you was, overcame anything today like that? I mean, there's always going to be doubters, but in my head, it was never a question. I feel like we had the pieces to win and we prepared well. So. Yeah, yeah, we're talking about your touch around the, around the room. You had five assists today. What were you seeing? Why were you able to get the one that Jay Sean blocked? What are you seeing when the team is trying to pressure you that's enabling you to have success that you did today with a team of this kind of size? 
I feel like it's just like our preparation and how I get in the gym. I feel like it's it just comes to you in the game, just instincts. Was it stuff like that that you were working on when I got here? You were on the court working with that kind of stuff you were working on? Yes, sir. Just yeah, stuff like that. Kata, you you know, 32 points, career high. Did you know you needed to come out and have a night like this to get a win like this? I mean, offensively, did you know you had to put up some some big numbers? We all knew. I mean, coming in against the number one team in the country, we had to play where all of us did. I think we all did for the full 40, but I think I was just aggressive early on, and I think that just carried in. My teammates found me in all the right places, and I just you know, completed it. Last one. Um, about the first four minutes, Michigan State was all over their offensive rhythm. Second chance points, eight points. After that first time out, uh, they didn't give <coughs> the access to the rim they had that first four minutes. Was anything said in the huddle, changed in the huddle about your defense at that point? Uh, I mean, that was a game plan, obviously, for to get them off the old boards, but until you're out there with them, they didn't get their big out there. I mean, we had to adjust out the first four minutes. I mean, Jerry Jackson is like 16, 6, 11. Miles Bridges is a big guy. Athletic, Nick Ward, same thing. So, after those first four minutes, we got adjusted and really, you know, try to clamp down on it.